Hey guys, Richie here. Welcome back for another video. This video is a little bit different. You see behind me my stash. I'm going to pick up three rare kits and can't really buy anymore or sold out or whatever reason and kind of talk you through those. Um, it's kind of three I kind of picked out. I'm not going to include Edward Limited Edition kits. That's kind of like a, a given. So like the P40 Warhawk, Warhawk Riders of the Sky, Desert Babe, all those kind of kits. I'm not going to include it. So let's get started. So the first kit I'm going to show you talk about or show you is this one right here which is the f16 super from academy and that's 30 second scale now that kit comes and goes it's not complete completely rare but the reason i'm kind of piling this one is i have the full on um aftermarket for it i have pretty much everything i have the black all the black dog kits the black dog cockpit the black dog wheel wells um you can't find those anymore it took me a long time to find them on the used market to get 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 those aftermarket parts so what makes that special is um really those aftermarkets i have for that kit um that's a really cool looking kit too you know, the f16 israeli one um you know with the square spine those color schemes awesome so that's the first one the second one down here is this kit now the kit itself is not rare it's just the box down at Aishima evo but what makes this one rare is i have the hobby design full resin detail kit of the full engine um these you can't buy anymore they discontinued years ago um i was fortunate i picked one up for hero boy i think the last one a few years ago um for this kit um but this is beautiful it has a, every single part of the engine um fully detailed um to go in this kit will i ever build it Probably not, but just cool, cool car and a cool um, detail set. Okay, third thing, a little bit different up here, my figures. This is the RP models. Douglas Barter Spitfire cockpit. Now, I'm not sure exactly what scale it is. Oh, there it is, one tenth scale. So what you get with this is, not only do you get the figure, but you get the full cockpit too. You get all the instrument panel, um, and it's fully resin. Um, these were limited edition, sold out again years ago, well, years, maybe three or four years ago. Um, I got lucky, just kind of as a selling out, I reached out to the guy who makes them, um, emailed him, and he happened to have one left over from a show, um, which I bought from him, so pretty happy. So this is very rare. Again, will I build it? Probably not. Um, I'm not much of a figure painter. I'm getting a little better. Maybe in time, in you know, years, years to come, if I get better, I will um, work on this guy and do it justice. But for now, um, this is super rare, and I'm not going to ruin it by my five-year-old paint kind of skills. Um, quick look inside the box. Well, I can't really see much, but it's, it's all fully packed up resin. So that one. Now, one of what else? Um, so that's the three I mentioned, and just. Honorable mention, maybe for one other, is this guy. The, the Ravel Rafael M. Seems like a box down a kit, but this actually is, along with the F-15E, Ravel's best 48 scale aircraft kit. Um, panel lines, detail, fit, light years ahead of any other model they've done. It's kind of frustrating because you know, they've done this one, the F-15E, um, they bring these kits out, and as always, this company, they bring them out, and then really cheap, good kits, and six months later, just disappear, or a year later, you can never find them again. So I got this, managed to get this one on eBay. Um, this is um, a really nice kit. The decals are kind of shot, but I managed to get a, a, a replacement set. But yeah, really hard to find. Yeah, they just released the C, I think it's C version, but the M1, which is the, um, of the aircraft carrier, the Marine version, um, the Navy version, should I say, um, it's really hard to find. So got that kit. And while I'm on the while I'm on the subject of Ravel, why not throw this one out? This is another exact same reasons I just mentioned. Um, bring out good subjects and, and occasional good kit, but for some reason they don't they stop selling them. So I mean people everybody wants a C17. Um, you can't buy them. Um, they go on eBay for crazy prices. So I put like a lot on eBay and once after a few months one came up at a decent price and I, I snagged it. So um, again, the C17, that's another kit, Ravel. Um, really hard to find for some reason. Um, they stopped making it. 
So there you go. So I said Met said three, but I actually show you five videos, um, five videos, five kits from my stash, um, which are kind of rare. So I hope you enjoyed that one, a little bit different. Um, and should keep checking back for my latest videos. Any any comments, put them down below. I'm happy to answer and help you guys, whatever you need. And until next time, again, my name's Richie. Have a good one. Stay safe and later.